Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive with us. Today, we're gonna to be looking at something a little bit ironic. We're talking about a recall from a company that's known for safety. Maybe the company that's known for safety. You mean Volvo. Yeah, Volvo. Right, and it's interesting because even the most safety conscious companies, they still have to stay on top of things, especially these days with engineering being as complex as it is. That's right. And today we're basing our deep dive on an episode from a podcast called The Case. And uh, they really get into the weeds on vehicle recalls. And there's one here that really stood out to us. We're talking about NHTSA campaign number 24V788000 or R10289 internally at Volvo. And it affects 291 Volvo hybrid vehicles mm -hmm. from the 2020 model year. Specifically, the S60, the V60, the S90, the XC60, and the XC90 models. And all of these cars have a potential issue. With a loose screw. Yeah, a loose screw. I know, it sounds kind of crazy. I think me. like, oh, a loose screw, that's an easy fix. But uh, Well, it is an easy fix. but It's, it's an important screw. It is. It's yeah. a very important screw. Yeah, this screw plays a vital role in connecting your foot on the brake pedal to the hydraulic system that actually stops the car. Yeah, and if that connection is loose... You could have problems. Reduced braking effectiveness, maybe even complete brake failure. And Volvos are known for their safety innovations. Like the three-point seat belt. A three-point seat belt. Right. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? It is ironic. A company that's synonymous with safety. Having a recall because of a loose screw. It kind of shows you, though, that Volvo's not taking any chances. Right. No matter how small the issue might seem, right. they are going to fix it to make sure the cars are safe. So let's get down to the brass tacks. Mm -hmm. What's the fix? And what should you do if you happen to own one of these Volvos? Well, the fix is easy. Volvo dealers will tighten the screw free of charge. That's good. Yeah. And they'll start notifying owners by letter on December 17th, 2024. Okay. So if you're driving one of these cars and you don't want to wait for the letter, what can you do right now? Go to the Volvo website and enter your VIN to check if your car is part of the recall. Or you can call their customer service number. It's 1-800-458-458. 1552. And remember the NHTSA vehicle safety hotline as well. That's 1 888 327 4236. They'll have info on this recall and others. That's right. You know, we always say it's good to stay informed, Absolutely. be proactive. And if you end up at the dealership for this, yeah. you can mention the internal recall number R10289. Okay, so we've covered this recall and it might seem like a small issue affecting a relatively small number of cars, but I think it shows us something really important. About how important the little things can be. Yeah, the little details. Especially in a complex system, like a car. Like a car. Yeah. Do you think that this is something we only see with cars? That's a good question. Or is this something that we see in other areas of life? Hmm. That's worth thinking about. Yeah, it makes you think of that old saying. For one of a nail, the shoe was lost. For one of a shoe, the horse was lost. And for one of a horse, the rider was lost. Just one tiny little thing can have huge consequences. That's a great analogy. So for our listeners out there, what can we all learn from this besides checking our cars for loose screws? It's all about being more mindful. In every part of your life, think about your home, your workplace, your health. Those small things, those small details can make all the difference. So we need to train ourselves to see those things, the yep. things we normally overlook. Exactly. We rely so much on automation and technology these days that sometimes we forget to use our own observation skills. So it's not about being paranoid. It's about being present. Right, and being aware. And trusting your gut. Yeah. When something seems off. Even if it seems small. Even if it seems small. Exactly. This deep dive has been pretty eye-opening. It really has. A tiny screw having such a big impact. Sometimes the most valuable lessons come from the most unexpected places. You know, it makes you realize that everything is connected. Even the small things can have ripple effects. Exactly. Who knew that a screw could lead to such an interesting conversation? Yeah, it's a good reminder that those little details, mm -hmm. the ones that are hidden in plain sight, they can have a huge impact on things. Yeah. And it's important to stay vigilant. So as we're wrapping up this deep dive, we want to leave you with a question. What seemingly minor details in your own life might be worth a closer look? Yeah. It really is something to think about. Yeah. You know, we go through our days and we don't really pay attention to the little things. But those little things can turn into big problems. Exactly. Like a loose step on your porch. Uh. Or, you know, that light in the basement that's been flickering. Or even like a feeling that something's not quite right with your health. Yeah, it's about being aware of those things. And not letting them consume us, but just being observant yeah. and trusting your gut. 
That's it. If something seems a bit off. It's about realizing that safety is an ongoing thing. It's not just one big thing. It's all the little choices that we make every day. So as you're going through your day today, take a second to just look around and be mindful. Sometimes the smallest thing. Yeah. can hold the biggest things together. And that's it for this deep dive into the world of tiny details and their big impacts. We'll catch you next time for another deep dive.